Hi everybody, in this tutorial I will give you an overview of the Anaconda distribution and how we can use it. Anaconda is a free Python distribution specifically designed for scientific computing. So it's great for data science and machine learning tasks. It lets you easily manage multiple virtual Python environments and simplifies package management. So why do we want multiple environments? because we don't want to spoil our system with too many side packages and we always want to manage the correct package versions and dependencies for our different projects. So for example, we can easily manage packages like NumPy, Pandas or scikit-learn for our different projects. So now I'm gonna show you how we can use Anaconda and what we can do with it. So first we want to install Anaconda and for this we go to the official website anaconda.com slash distribution and then we can select our operating system. So in my case it's a Mac and then select the Python version. So I highly recommend using Python 3. Then click on download and once the downloader is finished click on the installer um, and follow the instructions. So I'm gonna skip this because I already installed it on my machine. And then when the installation is done, you can open up a terminal and type in conda minus minus version. And this should print the conda, the currently installed conda version if everything is correctly installed. So here we can see that I have conda installed on my machine. Um, by the way, on Windows also make sure that you include the installation folder into your environment path variable. So yeah, so now we installed Anaconda, now we can start using it. So we want to create a virtual environment and we can do this with conda create minus n for name. And then we give it a name. For example, I call the environment my env. And we can also, so now we can hit enter, but we can go further and also specify the Python version we want. So for example, we could say Python equals 3.7. And then we can also go further and um, specify some packages that we want with the initial setup. So for example, here I can type in NumPy or anything else. So in this case, I will just specify the Python version and then I hit enter and then it will collect all the necessary packages and then it will ask me to proceed. So I will hit enter again. And then this will take a couple of seconds to download and install them. And now my environment was created and now I can activate it with conda activate and then the name my env. And depending on your machine, the command could also be source activate my env. So here it's conda activate my env and then enter and now it activates this environment and we can see this because it writes the currently activated um, environment at the beginning. So here I'm in the my env environment and now I can work inside this environment. So before we continue in this environment, we can also Let's talk about some other commands. So we can deactivate it again, of course. So I can say conda deactivate. And now you see at the beginning, we no longer have the my env here. So now it's deactivated. Now we can also see um, every environment that we created on our machine with conda env list. So this will list all the available environments. So Anaconda always comes with the base environment. And then you can see that I already ins have another environment, the pi env env. So yeah, so here I can inspect all the different environments. 
And of course, I can also again remove the environments with conda env remove minus n and then the name, so my env. So now if I hit enter, this would remove the environment and all the packages that are inside these, uh, this environment. So yeah, I don't want to remove it now. Um, so now let's go ahead and work inside our environment. So let's activate it again. Conda activate my env and let me clear the window first. So now we can manage different packages. For example, now I can install packages with conda install and then the package name, for example, numpy. And now it will collect all the necessary dependencies. So for example, it will also install numpy base or six. And then it asks me to proceed. So here I, I go ahead and now it installed numpy and the necessary dependencies. Um, now I can say, let me clear this again. I can say conda list. This will list all the packages inside my environment. So here we see that we have NumPy now. Um, now we can also install multiple packages with one command. So we could say conda install, for example, let's install matplotlib and seaborn and also um, pandas. So this will install all these in, uh, packages and also will try to look for the necessary dependencies. So now if I hit enter, it first collects the packages and the dependencies, then it asks me to proceed. So I go ahead. Again, this will take a couple of seconds. And yeah, so now it's done. So again, let's call conda list to see all the packages. And now we should see uh, pandas here, for example. Yes, and also matplotlib here. So it worked. Um, and now we could also search for uh, packages. So we can say conda search pandas. Then it will try to search for all the different available versions. So here it has listed all of them. And when I want to install them, I could, for example, also specify the, the version I want. So I could say conda install pandas equals and then for example, 0 0.25.2 or something like that. Then it will try to collect the specific version. Now, if I just want the newest version, I could also update my version and say conda update pandas. So now if I hit enter, it should already be the newest version. So now it says, yeah, all requested packages already installed. Um, and yeah, so I can also deinstall packages, of course, with conda remove, for example, numpy. So this will remove numpy again. And yeah, that's how we can manage multiple or different packages inside our environment. And sometimes um, Conda will not find the package you want. And when it does not find the package, then you can use or fall back to the to pip. So pip is also a package management um, system. So you could also say pip install and then a package. So pip install numpy. And yeah, so this will usually try to find a global pip version on your machine. So it's recommended to use a local pip version inside your environment too. So for this, you could say conda install pip. And once it is installed, so in this case, I know that it already is installed. And now if you type in pip install and then some name, 
and that it will use the pip version inside your environment. So yeah, so you can use pip install too. And I think these are all the necessary commands that you need to manage your uh, environments and your packages. And then when you use a IDE, like for example, Visual Studio Code or PyCharm, then you see that it will easily integrate into your IDE. So in my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. And if I open up Visual Studio Code, so for example, let me go to another uh, folder. And now if I open up Visual Studio Code, then you will see that it will automatically um, or that it, I can choose the environment I want. So here I can um, choose the Python interpreter and here it will, it also lists the Anaconda environment versions. So here um, this is the myenv that I just created. So I can use this one. And now if I run the script, for example, with right click and then run Python file in terminal, um, then it will use this environment. So here in the terminal, you see that it will activate the environment and then runs this main.py file with the Python version inside this environment. So yeah, so you could easily use it inside Visual Studio Code and you don't have to activate it manually or deactivate it. And yeah, this is nice. So this is how we can work with Anaconda and I hope you like this tutorial. So please subscribe to the ch channel and see you next time. Bye.